we want to graph this, the easiest way is to find the x and y intercepts. To find the y intercept, I'm going to make the x equal to 0. If we do that, we get this nice equation that looks like this. 3y is, I'm going to use equal to instead of greater than equal to because I'm not really concerned with this part of it right now. So 3y is equal to negative 25. Then I want to get the y alone, so I'm going to divide both sides by 3. And that's going to give me y is equal to negative 25 divided by 3, which is, 3 goes into 25, 8 with 1 left over, so 8 and 1 third, so negative 8 and 1 thirds, or negative 8.3 repeating. So y is equal to negative 8.3 repeating, like that. We get this nice point, the x is 0, and the y is negative 8.3 repeating, like that. We're going to find the x-intercept. So to do that, we're going to set y equal to 0. We're going to be left with negative 10x is equal to negative 25. Negative 10x, negative 10x is equal to negative 25. Divide both sides by negative 10. And that gives us a negative divided by negative is a positive. 25 tenths, which is 2.5. x is equal to 2.5. Then when x is equal to 2.5, the y value is 0. Now we just need to plot those two two points. 0, negative 8.3 repeating. Here's negative 8 right here. I'm going to zoom in on that. Translate down a little bit. So this is negative 8 and we're after negative 8.3 repeating. So that's 8.123. And so we really want negative 8.33, which is the close, as close as we can get to negative 8.33333333333. I'm going to hold down the command key and go 0 0.01, 0 0.02, 0 0.03. This is negative 8.33. The other point that we need to get is 2.50. Okay, well, here's our 2. To get to 0.5, I'm just going to nudge it over 0.5 steps. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, like that. So there's your 2.5. We're after the inequality, not the equation, right? So 3y is, this is going to be greater than negative 25, so we're going to be shading above, like that, and it's a solid line. 